There's two important wickets and at um, crucial stages brings in the captain, the Pakistan captain coming in at number six, 296 games. An experienced player, he's. But that'll obviously not stop Shahid Afridi from playing those big shots. That's a classical six over long off. He's been in great six hitting form, Afridi, in this Asia Cup. And here was just another example of what a mighty player he is. Power hitting from uh, Boom Afridi. Look at that. Way over the top, inside out. Superb shot. That's punish of the back foot, and the ball goes across to the fence in a flash. Overcompensating the spinner. With the youngster previously just uh, playing inside out, then dropping it short and paying the price. So what the Shuva being taken to the cleaners here by Shahid Afridi. Goes for the cut shot, finds the gap. The field and the deep has to hurry. Gets there, two runs picked up by Afridi. That last six was Afridi's ninth of the Asia Cup. Stroke beautifully. 200 comes up for Pakistan also as we have another look at that uh, meaty blow. Inside edge will fetch him a four. Fine leg was up in the ring so all it required was an edge and inside edge for Afridi to get a bonus boundary. Well fortunate there Shahid Afridi really going for a big hoik over Mebwicket getting the inside part of the bat. Unfortunate for the bowler that ball could have gone anywhere. But uh, luck rides uh, Shahid Afridi's way and he gets uh, what will please Afridi as well. Mashrafe back into the action and been greeted by a glorious cover drive. Well, Shahid Afridi will be thinking that it was Mashrafe that dropped that catch of his and uh, is gonna really go charging after him look at that what a lovely shot that was poetry in motion absolutely as he was standing up to that full flow of the bat lovely cover drive this should be held on the bounce to Tamim Iqbal who does well but allows the ball to go for four but he really had to attack it which he did well, the effort was there from Tamim Iqbal, had to run in very, very quickly. The ball was dying on him as he approached the ball. Little flick here and uh, couldn't keep it along the ground. Had his heart in his mouth. There you see Tamim coming into picture and uh, maybe in two minds whether to stop. Oh, he's got that away fine. Beats third man. So the runs uh, continue to flow. It was the slower delivery. It looked as if he was just trying to steer it through the offside and found a thick outside edge. But Fridi is the guy that he spent some time in South Africa playing domestic cricket. One thing we picked up about him, he won't hurt you when he's in boundary mode through the offside unless it's a, a given a poor ball. It's not an area it generally looks. It's either straight or cow corner. Lovely shot. That's raced away to the boundary. Lovely sound when ball made contact with the bat. And a nice way to bring up his half century. Of just 35 balls, his consistent run continues. Once again, very impressive today. Afridi taking advantage of something short and wide. It's proving to be a tough day for Mortaza and Pakistan's 250 comes up. Who did he play for in South Africa? Did he go well? He was very effective in the limited overs game, which is obviously, as we know, his, his strong point. Uh, he was down in the days, uh, he was played for Griquas. He had a spell with uh, border side Bulldogs down in East London. Again, a very good strike. Made it look easy. Picked a spot. And goes inside out. That smashed hard off the back foot. One bounce over the rope. It took the aerial route, but that was powerfully struck. 
short, ample time on this pitch to uh, rock back and hit it where he wants. He's done exactly that. Another boundary on the offside of Freedy again, giving himself room and peppering that offside field. 100 of the partnership comes up. It's coming just 79 balls in good time. It's too easy for him. Giving himself room and the bowler just obliging there with uh, an easy paced ball dropping short of a length. Cracking shot. Down the track, one bounce over the rope on the offside, 15 off the over. It's 280 for four. Pakistan will be pushing on now, big time, 280 with. Picked him easily and put him out of the ground. Effortless six here for Afridi. It can't really be the option around the wicket to Afridi. That's any swinging arc. He's strong through the onside. But do you've got to be so clear about exactly the line you want to bowl. Thing on the stumps. It's going to pepper you straight over mid wicket. There's not going to be any half measures here around the wicket. It'll either work for you or you will be disappearing. That's six now. Gives a free the 276 is so he's equal to Jay Surya. And he's turning it on here. Goes again. Again in the same direction. Beats third man. 15 already off this over. Two balls. In fact, one ball to go. He's really turning it on now. 84 from just 46. He's already got a hundred in this tournament against Sri Lanka. Brilliant hundred. He has another one for the taking. Picked away on the onside. He's just toying with the attack now. Big over this. 19 of it. 299 for four. Freedy, 88 from 47. We know he has the the fastest in uh, limited overs cricket, 50 over cricket. And that was of 37 balls, way back many years ago in Nairobi, about 96, I think. This one, give or take four or five balls, should be right up there in terms of definitely in the top 10 if he gets 200. Inside out, another boundary. Now this is where the wheels can come off as far as Bangladesh are concerned. These last six overs would propel Pakistan past 350, which is the highest score here in Dambula. He's dealing in boundaries and sixes at the moment. Got it fine. Awesome 100. From Afridi, sixth fastest hundred overall and the fastest in Asia Cup. He didn't have to try too hard to get up the three figures. Razak drifting down the leg side and uh, nicely tickled away by side Afridi. Second hundred in this tournament. Hit a hundred against the Sri Lankans and now here against Bangladesh. Gone at a tremendous pace. What a great innings gone through the infield, nobody in the deep on the offside, I'll pick up another boundary. Hitting it crisply, hitting it powerfully still. Razak now unable to uh, contain this man, he bowled pretty well Razak. It's gone straight down, good use of the bottom hand, it's gone the distance, 334 for 5. Doing it uh, easily, all timing, just uh, freeing the arms, no fielder down in the deep. And another big one for Afridi.
76 in the innings. We will go very much uh, more than that, and that's a big one from Afridi again. Going all the way, clearing uh, the boundary by a long way. And easily as well. As I mentioned earlier, the bottom hand, but also get underneath the ball to get the elevation. It's a big boundary. At the moment, it's looking too small. It's clearing it easily. It's going fine. On the offside, is looking to play leg side. Run signaled. Nothing going right for the Bangladeshis. The aim to play it on the leg side. The captain knows that. <laughs> well, you can do nothing about it. It's gone for four. It's taking the bottom of the bat. It's just hitting his foot as well. <laughs> 